Is it one coconut? One coconut bomb. Tried Beth went in that entrance and I went in this entrance and I kind of like did this part. Thank you, goodbye. Bye bye. Yeah, can we have one of those, both? Who is this? Him? His name? Abbas. Abbas. Good afternoon everyone from Jakarta here in Indonesia. So we have actually just started our day at Koke Oe Sabag. I hope I pronounced that correctly. As you can see, Dan has some of his food out already. How which is, is really spicy, it's really nice. It's like a lamb, a spicy lamb nasi goreng, which is mm. the first time I've had it. And this, this time the uh, pop, um, what is this called? The popadom? Like a popadom. It's a lot thicker, it's a lot harder. Oh yeah. We've also got thing. some spring rolls here. Yeah, we have just realized that they've got corn in them. So we'll be giving those go in just a second. We also have a chicken dish come out, chicken noodles. Actually, you know what? I've got the menu right in front of me, so I'm just gonna show you. So we have got, um, Dan has the nasi goreng camping pedas. If I really so I'm probably not pronounced that correctly. And I have gone for the this one here, the Mai Ajam OA. And I think Manis means sweet, so we'll be giving that a go. We also have gone for some of the roti paratha here, which is to me quite similar to what we were ordering in India, so it'll be interesting to try that. And then we also went for the Loem Pia Oda, which is this here, which I'm assuming is prawns, and a bit of a peanut sauce here. So we'll be filming kind of our first impressions here in Jakarta today. It's pretty much our first day here in Jakarta. Obviously got here last night, but it was quite late. So yeah, today's just gonna be exploring, getting a feel for it, and uh, yeah, getting our first impressions. So join us. Okay then, so I think we're here at the National Monument. Um, we can't see an entrance through here, so I assume it's this way. Now there's a lot going on here, loads of tents, food, cars. Uh, do you know where we're going? Absolutely no idea. It, it smells. Like people going this way though. Yeah, people are selling souvenirs and stuff there. Yeah. Street food. Yeah. Smells incredible. You just tapped me. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't look though, so I don't know why. Uh, we do have some people walking down this way, so hopefully this yeah. is the way. I think let's just follow the crowd. Do you know if you've got to buy tickets or anything? No idea. I can't even see the monument. Yeah. Like I thought it would be a little bit bigger. It's there. Oh. You see it. Over there. The behind the trees, yeah. So, yeah. Honestly, not a clue at the moment. We haven't really done that much research. We just saw it on the maps we and obviously it it's a national monument. So. Yeah, we just thought it was surrounded by like a park where loads of green turf. Yes. So let's hope that we are actually walking right now. I can see it, so it's over there. So we just need to find our way oh, no. into there. Uh, hopefully it shouldn't take too long, but we'll see. So I think we found our way into the monument. We have to walk through the car park and then through this bit here, which is really cool because there's so many like food places to eat, oh, markets, coconuts. We love our coconuts. We do love our coconuts. <laughs> we use, we'll be getting one of those for sure, but yeah. it's, it's actually huge here. There's so much here. Wow. The clothing shops. Ah. Eggs. Eggs. Oh, Eggs. Oh, That's huge. A good There's like a massive market here. Look. I guess we have to go through, we'll go through this way, have a look through the market. But yeah, this market's insane. Wow. I'm not sure if this is for the monument or just like a separate own thing, but oh my god, look at it. Everything's here. So we the market selling like hats and loads of different There is. That kind of look um, local clothing, but obviously quite Western as well. Mm. Again, we don't actually fully know where we're going. I think I'm just following the crowds up here. But at the moment it feels like we're working in circles. <laughs> Which we do, we tend to do that quite a lot. Yeah, we do a little bit. Yeah, I think it is this way, fair look. Mm. Again, just following the crowd. <laughs> okay then, we have a gate and we have people walking in and out. So I assume this is the entrance. More although... people walking out than there are. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot more people walking out. Uh, we've got guards there, so maybe this is the entrance, hopefully. Oh yeah, it says Monas entrance there. Ah. We've made it. So I'm excited for this. Apparently the monument has a flame on top made of gold foil. So it'll be interesting to see. See how that looks like. See that. That's a really good photo there. So we've made it. We've made it in to this area. And in front of us, we can see the National Monument, which from over here, it looks really good. Um, I feel like everyone's in the road here. It's actually free as well. 
to get into this kind of area. I don't know if you have to pay maybe to go up the monument. I mean, yeah. It does look like there is a viewing Looks like there's like a platform, platform there. there. But it looks really nice. It's really clean here, very well maintained. Um, not too busy actually, although it is a really big area. Uh, nice at the moment, really it's enjoying it. Busy, it's nice. There we go. This is what it looks like up close. It looks insane. Like it's, it's massive. Cool. It's huge, isn't it? Look at that. All right there. Yeah. And you can also see they've got little like gold. I don't even know what they are. Vases? Yeah, I think so. Sorted around. So yeah, we've done a bit of fact checking, and it was actually open to the public in 1975. So not even that long ago. And it is um, 132 meters high. Quite high that. <laughs> yeah, we're not. We haven't quite found the entrance yet, so we don't know how much it will cost to go in. But you can see people, yeah. little heads kind of floating about on that kind of top surface bit. Mm. And there's music playing. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it sounds very like gospel, yeah. doesn't it? Like choir. It, it not was built for. Enough. It was built for the. It was built to commemorate the struggle of Indonesian independence and its property of the government. So. Mm. Yeah, Very I mean, legit. it is really nice. And as Beth said, you can see these like, I'm not entirely sure what they are, but they got the gold color, um, like kind of like angel fingers maybe, correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks really nice, isn't it? Like really nice. What is that? It looks like a headless. Angel or something. Oh, sort. they are, them ones are headless. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely not angels. Sorry, ignore me. But yes, there you go. That's what they are. You have to let us know in the comments. Yeah, we don't um, know what that's for. That's that. But yeah, first stop, Kind of complete now. Looks really nice. Uh, I'm glad we came here actually. Um, yeah. And then you've kind of got the skyline there, which looks really nice. How modern it is. Mm. Um, I guess that's Republic to San National, maybe a bank. I'm not yeah, too sure, maybe. but I think we are in like a business business district here, yeah. and everywhere's so clean. That is one thing to mention. Like the floor, it's yeah. Like, and everyone seems to be really nice here. Mm, totally. um, like they kind of leave you to do your own thing, whereas in India you'd be kind of like surrounded by now, but. Everyone kind so of just true. respects your privacy here, which is really nice. Yeah, like no unofficial guides or yeah. like tuk tuk drivers. It's very nice. It is. <laughs> okay then, so we are now outside of the mosque. We do have a bit of a river in the way, but down there we've got the cathedral. Yeah. The <laughs> Catholic <laughs> cathedral. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a road. If we keep walking maybe about five yeah. minutes this way, we should be able to see the entrance of the mosque yeah. and the entrance of the it's the first time I've ever, seen a, I've ever seen a tower of a mosque before. Like normally you see the domes, but I've never seen a tower. No. So. Well, we don't really have too many mosques. I don't think. We have a few, but we don't we don't, we don't have them with towers. So that's really cool actually. Yeah. Um, and we do have some facts. We'll uh, tell you in there. But now, the job is trying to find our way to the entrance. <laughs> so we're stuck. Thank you. Thank you. That was nice. He was just making sure that we knew everything was for free. So I assume there might be some touts around that try and get money off you. Um, but we're here. We are in. And wow, look at that. That is huge. Didn't have a This side? I'll go ask him. I'm not sure. Uh, hello, how are you? Uh, if you want to visit inside, your most okay. biggest restaurant in Information Centre. Information Centre, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, if, are we allowed to use the camera just to walk uh, around? Uh, no problem, yep. but uh, for registration only. Okay, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so register the camera. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Where, where do you register? So he just said. We've got like a market stall over oh, here. Oh, wow. An ATM. Right then, so this is what it looks like from the front, I assume, Al Fatah, or Pintu Al Fatah. And Beth has kindly done some research, haven't you, Beth? I have. So, the Istiqlal Mosque, Istiqlal is another word for independence, um, and it's actually one of the largest, no, it's the largest mosque in Southeast Asia and the ninth largest mosque in the world in terms of worshipper capacity. So, we are going to try and go in um, very shortly. We'll take our shoes off and go inside. Obviously, we won't be able to film that part. I don't Wow, how'd you find it? Pretty impressive. That was insane. Really interesting. I can't believe how big it is inside, like how clean it is. It wasn't even that busy either. There's like a few people in there, but like 
there wasn't many people at all, so we really got a nice experience. So he was correct, Beth went in that entrance and I went in this entrance and I kind of like did this part and Beth did that part over there. But I feel like we didn't even touch half of it because like the building's all the way over there. Um, but we kind of just like did these areas. And now we've got like a prayer going on, if you can hear it. But yeah, I mean, so glad we did that. That was experience. insane. That was good. Yeah, um, first of many. First of many. <laughs> And now, of course, we're here opposite the cathedral, so we're going to check that out. Hopefully it's open, I'm not too sure, but yeah, I'm glad we came here. Really good fun. One coconut, how much? Uh, no, just one coconut. How much are they? Yeah, do you know how much? Yeah. One. Do you know how much? Yes. One. Five, six. Yes. Okay, okay. I have one. One. Yeah. One. How much is that? Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Ah. Twenty thousand. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Yeah, can one. We get, what? Just one, please. Just one. Just one. Yeah. one. Just one. one. Thank you. That's it. That's it. One pound. One pound two in Great two British pounds. Yeah, twenty nine. Yeah, two, one, one, one. Just one. Please. Just one. Just yeah. one. Just one. Just one. Ah, look at this one. One. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I wish. Isn't it? One way. One way. One tiga. Tiga. One necklace. You can go. You play. You can go. You. Let. Let from my mum. My mum. Thank you. Can you touch him, mum? Hello, how are you? You good? Good, good, good. So he's kindly uh, gifted us some seats. I thought that was a spider then. Oh, this is well needed because it's so hot, as you can see. Absolutely sweating here. Oh, yeah. uh, we haven't had an Indonesian coconut before, so it's the first time, isn't it? Yeah. So basically, that commotion there, we were trying to find out how much they were because I've only got a small amount of money on me um, and there was like no English, so. Yeah, a bit of a commotion, but we're here, and I hope, I think it's only 20,000, so... 20,000. Yeah. yeah. I think that's uh, 20,000. Oh, we've got leakage. It's so hot here. Carefully does it, there we go. There we go. Oh, look at that, that looks unreal, that does. Beth can do the honours. You love your coconuts. I know, I literally have all the coconuts. Oh, we even get a little plate, look. That's insane. I'm really excited for this. I would like to have to drink it. Yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, the spoon for the meat afterwards and then the... Okay. Probably a little meal, that, isn't it? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give it a taste test. Oh, that's good. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. That is insane. And it's like, look at that fresh meat there as well. Mm -hmm. How good? That's really good. That's actually oh, really, that's really, really nice. Good. It'd be there's, nice if they were like ice cold. Yeah, there's a lot of liquid in here. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up or not, but it's full to the brim and it's like really deep and really wide. Yeah, for 20,000 rupees, which worked out to be, what was it, a pound? like a pound? It's not bad at all. Yeah, really not pounds. bad. Just what we needed. Now, we didn't get that far. The mosque is there and the cathedral is there, but we saw this out of the corner of our eye and thought, we've got to, we've got to. So, yeah, I mean, I can't believe how hot it is here. It's like it's got some limes there as well. Oh, yeah, so we'll give a tour of this little shop we've got. <laughs> Obviously the fresh water, got coconuts. And a bag of limes, we're not sure if these like put in the coconut or not. Sometimes you see coconut limes and then just out here, all of these coconuts and stuff. So nice little shop on wheels. Limes? Do you make lime juice? Yeah. Ah, you make lime juice. Oh, okay. Ah, and that's what these are for then. Ah, okay, nice. Thank you. We're okay for that baby. Oh. Ah, quite similar then to what we kind of found in Sri Lanka in yeah. India, I think. But we never got these plates, though. This is a nice little touch, actually. Uh, I guess it makes it easier when you eat it, but... Oh. Good. Okay, then. We're here. 
We are here. We've got some timings here. Not totally sure what these are about. Can't read the language, but we just go in. What's the plan? Yeah. This way. Hello, how are you? We have a look, but it's really nice. Again, it looks like it's it looks exactly like something you see out of England, to be honest. Like, exactly the same as what we see in England. Um, we do have some security here, so. And it is amazing how you've got a Catholic cathedral right opposite the mosque as well. Yeah. Quite welcoming and inclusive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay then, so again, for religious and respect purposes, we decided not to film in there, but yeah, I mean. It's nice and peaceful. It was really nice and peaceful. It's so big again, like it's, they're actually huge, aren't they? And the hall inside is absolutely massive. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to spend another like 20 minutes in there, relaxing and just being at peace. Um, yeah. I've just realised I haven't been very good at fact control today. Yeah, she hasn't, um, as per usual. So aside from its beautiful neo-Gothic architecture, Which is it's a very important symbol of the unity in Indonesia because 85% of the total population is Muslims which explains such a big mosque. Mm. Um, but having them in such close proximity, yeah, I just say. Yeah, it's, it's nice. nice. So, yeah, nice. lovely. It was built as well in 1901. 1901, so over 100 years. So as we were just walking back, we came across the Gedung Kesenian Jakarta. I really hope I'm saying that right. It is an art building, basically a concert hall. Um, built during the colonial period in Batavia. Is that right? I don't know if that's right. I keep looking it down for fact check because I don't know if I'm right or not. So this is an art building and they hold um, concerts and like opera and things like that here. And we also saw that they have these artworks. They kind of look like caricatures, like they're like cartoons of mm. famous people. And like all the shops on here do look. So we'll go out and like, have a look. Yeah. It looks quite interesting. I mean, we are going to try and cross this really busy road now, which might... That's the issue with these roads here in Jakarta. They are very busy. Um, and for unseasoned road crosses like us, sometimes it's difficult. Yeah. I mean, they do have that, just got there. Uh, they do have this kind of... Yeah. yeah. I don't trust us to not get hit, to be honest. So this is what they look like close up. So many different ones. Hello, how Hello. are you? Wow, that's so cool. Hello, how are you? Hello. Cristiano Ronaldo. Hello. Hello, how are you? Uh, who is this? Him? His name? Abbas. 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 Ah, okay. Oh, nice. And these all yours? Ah. Nice. Is that the Mona Lisa? Is that the Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. They are so good. Like, each kind of artist. It's good because like, you can actually see him painting that, which uh, sometimes when you kind of see artwork being sold on the street, you're not sure if it's legit or not, but yeah, I mean, they're so cool. It's me. Hello. Hi, how are you? Ah. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow, is this all of yours? Are these all of yours? You paint? Wow, really good. Oh, Abstract. Abstract. Ah, okay. Do you sell? Guitar? Ah, guitar, like straws, yeah, okay, okay, good, good. Do you sell is, your... yeah. <laughs> is this yours? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Cap protection. It's so nice at the opposite yeah. of the house, so that's really mm. sick. So, thank you, thank you, have a good day. They have to Yeah, that is really cool actually. Uh, I assume they've got loads of. Uh, tourists here, maybe, and um, there must be a reason why. Hello, thank you. Chris Aaron, I'll do it again. Yeah, they're actually really like, they're actually really they're cool, amazing. aren't they? 
this was such an unexpected stop we didn't like know this existed um, but yeah my god it's really good <laughs> yeah I really want to touch them but I don't want to touch them at the same time because that's rude but they're so cool really cool probably so many right then now where do we go? We were walking that way. I think up and round. Oh yeah, look at all this down here. And this just goes to show how busy the roads are here in Jakarta, that they've got so many of these walkways yeah. going over and around busy roads. Let's go that way. Yeah. Now the second little impromptu stop is going to be Changu Bakehouse because I'm really in need for something like this because I'm so thirsty. And it looks really nice in here actually. Oh, look at this. Oh, they're nice t-shirts. They're really nice t-shirts actually. Damn. How much are those then? They're nice, they are. Right then. I don't know what that is, but it sounds nice Ooh. and awful at the same time. Hello, how are you? Good. Good, good. What do we want? Yes, please. Oh yeah. I might get one of these. Lychee. Should you also get one Lychee, one piece? Yeah, can we have one of those, both? One, one, one of lychee, one, one piece. Yes, please. Uh, we'll just get the regular. Yes, please. So lychee tea and peach tea. They're quite nice, aren't they? One regular peach tea, one regular lychee tea. Anything yes, please. Else? That, no, That's all, thank you. This is a little lychee in it. Oh, uh, yeah. So they've finally arrived. We've got lychees in this one, like actually in the cup, which is quite cool. Uh, you've got peach in there as well, look. These are nice. I don't think I've ever actually tried an, an actual lychee. No. So that'll be a first. Right then, we'll give the lychee one a go. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, that's actually really good. I love that. That's really good. Oh, that is immense as well. Is it good? Really cold though. Mm. Well, we need to stop asking for drinks. We need to start asking for drinks without oh. icing them. That peach one's nice as well. As you can see, like, little wedges of peach in there. Mm. Oh, I'm glad we found this place, it's really nice. Yours tastes a bit stronger than mine, um, but really nice, actually. Really nice. Where have we found ourselves? And I think it's frozen yogurt. Well, we've asked what flavour what flavor yogurt it is, and it's sweet and sour. So we've asked to try a little bit this one's for sure. Oh, there you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Ah, look at that. And maybe you were right about it being sweet or sour. Yeah. So the, the black one is? The black one is uh, natural purple and sakura flower. Oh, sakura flower, okay. Any good? Yeah. I'm gonna go try. Yeah. This black really one is one. so weird. It's really nice. They kind of work really well together. So the black yeah. one's sweet. Is the white one sour? Yeah. So I think the white one's sweet. And the black one's sour. Mm. Hmm. I'm not sure if they're, they're nice. And I might grab this. This looks really nice. Mm. Choco cookie. Cocoa cookie. Cocoa cookie. Or cocoa oh, crush. I think it's nice. cocoa banana. Cocoa banana. Cocoa banana. I might get cocoa crush actually. Yeah. These are really nice. Mm. So it's a fancy thing. Get like, so they want to do frozen yogurt and then you've got all your toppings here. Red velvet, roasted almonds. Oh, they look nice. Fruit. Mm. Silly girl. Not yeah, I might grab a smoothie, maybe Coco, Coco Crush. Not entirely sure what like flavours they are or what it's made from, but hope it's nice. Please, can I get one of the uh, Coco Crush? Coco yes, please. Just... It's from coconut. It's okay. From coconut? Yes. Fine. That's oh, fine. Yeah, that's nice. Ooh, I'm so and then I'll grab a, a cup, black sakura. Um, Our white skin? Oh, I think I prefer the white one. I'll go for the white. The white skin. Okay. Yes, please. I'm seeing these white skin. You can just three Choose three toppings. Any, yeah. any of these? Yeah. Oh, so got list. Ah. Wow. Oh, I don't have a look hmm. what they are. Okay. Ah, there we go, that looks nice. Strawberries there, like she dragon fruit. I have always wanted to try dragon fruit, so I don't know if get the dragon fruit. Do you have a bin for this? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Yeah. I want to try dragon fruit, I think. Dragon fruit? Oh, yeah. And what else? We've got like um, granola, biscuit crumbs, almonds, wow, cookies. That right, I'm going to go for. 
I'll go for the. Do you have all of these toppings? Sorry? Do you have all of these toppings that yes. you're from? Yeah. Yeah, they're there. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, can I get Oreo crumb? Yeah. Oreo please. Um, I'll go for the choco waferino. Okay. Well, that looks nice. Oh, that looks really it's nice. Got, like, look at that. Yeah. Icy milk. Hmm. That's just, all. Just that and, and just the one of the crust. Yes, There we go. Oh yeah. Wow. It's got the Oreo crumbs on there. That looks really good. Look at that. With the wafer oh, oh, dark oh. chocolate. How good is it? Mm. That's happy? awesome. She loves her frozen yogurt. So this love is it. perfect for her. Love it. Love it. Oh, she's been generous. <laughs> very rare. Oh, she's very generous. <laughs> oh, watch my flat. Good, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, that's good. If you've seen our Shalanka vlogs, you'll we'll see that we also love getting the frozen yogurt there. Thank you, goodbye. Bye bye. There we go. Tough. Right then, moment of truth. Give us a go. I like these cups. Yeah. And you've got to like push them in there. How do we get this one? I want to pull it up, you idiot. Do what? Yeah. Pull it up and it pops in the hole. I don't like these cups anymore. <laughs> no, you push it in the hole like it that. Just so it, it would if you hadn't pushed yeah. it in. So then. <laughs> I hate these cups. Oh, that's nice. Is good? You'll really like that. It's very coconutty. Mmm. That's really nice, isn't it? What else is it? It's like coconut, it's almonds and cream on top as well. That's nice. Yeah, that's really nice. It's got like coconut uh, shavings on the top, I think. Big but... Sally. Mm. Oh, I'm a big fan of that. Really big fan. Mm. Starting to get later now, so it's around about uh, five o'clock or just before, so the sun is starting to set. We're going to go to the Farim or Tarim fountain, which is just down here, I think. And that probably will be our last stop of the day. Uh, but yeah, for now, nice little walk through the streets with these. So we have finally found the Arjuni. Arjuna. The Arjuna. The Arjuna statue. It's gorgeous and it's right opposite the Tam Tamrin. Tamrin. Tam Tam Tamrin Fountain. Tamrin so. Fountain. I mean, as you can see, it's on one of the busiest roads here in, in, um, in Jakarta. So even just getting across, as you can see behind Dan, there's loads of police that try and help us cross the road because it's manic, isn't it? It is the crazy. So I busy. think we're like in the hub now because you've got like all the high rise buildings like here, like surrounding it. So I guess we're in like the main bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just crazy. Like the that's really nice as well. Like the, the, the design of it. Yeah, that statue is so pretty. I mean, it looks a bit Romany, Trojan. Yeah, Roman, like mythical kind of stuff. Yeah, really I think you have them in a lot of big cities as well, so maybe that's quite fitting. I don't yeah. know. But... I mean, I thought I was expecting a bit more from the fountain, but I mean, it's still nice. Yeah. Like in the nice, in the middle of everything. But... Yeah, definitely expecting a bit more of like a wow factor. Yeah. But it's just kind of a lone statue, a lone fountain, isn't it? But yeah, it's nice. Like it's here, so. Yeah. But that build, I don't know what this building is. You, maybe you can let us know. That building there is so nice. So like, designed nice. incredibly. I really want to know what it is. But... I was thinking a lot of the buildings we find in Jakarta are actually quite modern. Yeah, very modern. Quite like futuristic looking. And then you've got obviously the monument there and a statue of a peacock there. Uh, I think that's about it. That is. Isn't it? So I think that pretty much wraps up our day for today. First impressions wise, how do you think? Loved it. Not too sure what to expect when we got here, but good vibes. Like a nice city vibe. Um, quite busy. The roads are very manic. Yeah. But it, I've loved it so far. Food uh -huh. has been amazing. The food has been good. Yeah, we basically just done like all the touristy things today. Like we haven't really got stuck in, but like even just the skyline, it's so modern and like really clean and really everywhere smells really nice as well. The food, doesn't it? So yeah, that is it for today. Tomorrow we've got another exciting video, so tune in for that one. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.